So we were talking about uh, fentanyl, and we were all approaching it from our non-junky brains, uh, which normally work better than junky <laughs> brains, but not when it comes to case. fentanyl. And uh, I had, we we're kind of, why would you want to kill your clients? And, and how's there? Now, you just saying the whole cake batter thing, and they're pressing all sure. these Luck bootleg the drugs themselves, and it's a little piece of concentrated mm -hmm. at the bottom. It, it all sense. makes perfect sense yeah. now, right? Yeah. yeah, because what it is, it's a, a cheap, inefficient way for these these for the dealers to to make these press pills, and and they look because they cause the molds it looks like it's from the pharmacy, you right. know, it's like if it, you take a Xanax two milligram yeah. bar mm -hmm. and you hold it up next to a press two milligram bar, you can't tell the difference, but yeah, there's a chance that. One of those bars that you got from that dealer is going to be the one that what in our our day we would call a hot shot, which right. would be a concentrated shot of heroin that would put somebody out that they were, you know, really powerful heroin. I mean, there were times when, uh, you know, I'm sure you've experienced this. Building. I woke up in a dumpster. You know, you know, the big dumpsters that you get sure. outside construction sites. I woke up in one outside my dealer's house and apparently i don't remember but i od'd and they thought i was dead so they threw me in the dumpster dude that happened to me yeah. i wasn't in a dumpster i was in a flat in england and i was annoyed <laughs> you know the you know when it's the squatter flats yeah that's okay where I live. so yeah, there's an empty flat <laughs> yeah. and there were all these kids that were junkies and homeless kids and we were all getting high and uh it was during a jane's addiction tour and i went out i was dead and they just dragged me down, put me down on the curb, and they all fucking split. That's right. Did they and know I, who you were? Oh yeah, but but they but their concern was getting arrested. Getting arrested. They would get caught. Sure. You know what I mean. I Did knocked you, on the door and said, "What are you doing? Have you got any more?" <laughs> That's exactly. Oh oh oh! Without a doubt, Without when doubt. I came to, thank God, first question out of my mouth yeah. was. Let me get another hit. Yeah, who's got the dump? Waking up in the dumpster, it, it's 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 perfect because you think, oh, he was scrounging for food mm -hmm. or some, or looking for a warm place yeah, to sleep out. or something. Yeah. Well, it was basically left any, for death. Yes, yeah, takes the case. as long as it's not on our like mm -hmm. the blood's on our hands, and you know, I was a piece of shit junkie anyway. So there he was in, and so and also when you were talking about that, you have to take into account uh, the perception of the user. Like I I have bought. Uh, heroin, I, I remember being in Streatham in southeast London, and I watched, I gave the guy the money, and I watched him go around the corner, and he thought I couldn't see him, but I could, I could see him, and he scraped brick dust off the wall oh. <laughs> and folded it up. Now, I knew there was brick dust in it, but you I shot it I, anyway. I shot it anyway. I know you did. Wow. Yeah, because, because what if, I gave him, like, I don't know, 20 bucks, right? What if there was 10 bucks worth of heroin in yep. there and he was just making it up? I'll take right. So these kids are taking, wow. some of, they know it's a press pill, but they're going to take the risk anyway.